Hello and welcome to a new video about electric circuits. Last time we talked about a series circuit. Today we're talking about another way how to combine two things. Uh, here I have two resistors. No, because last time we made a series connection between A and B. Both elements are in series, one after the other, right? And now we will make it like that. Now we make two different connections between A and B, yeah? one with one resistance and one with the second resistance. So here we have point A and here we have point B. Both are connected by two ways, by two resistance. This, and this is now the, the core of a, of a parallel connection, parallel circuit, two parallel or more parallel paths are connecting the same two points to each other. Yeah? So here's one point, here's another point, and there are parallel branches, parallel connections with different things inside. We are talking about now, talking about uh, resistors. Yeah? So actually what we do have is that we have here one point, yeah? then we separate in, I draw now two branches, and here we have one resistor. Second branch, there's another resistor. Must not be the same resistance. Can be totally different. And that's it. So we have here somewhere an R1. We have here somewhere an R2. We have here an I1. We have here an I2 current, the current through the two resistors. In com total, there we have a current I rushing through this, this circuit. And here we have a voltage U1. Here we have a voltage U2. And at the complete circuit, we have a voltage U. This is our parallel circuit. Now we can do the following stuff. Yeah? We can think what potential would be here. Yeah? I have the potential V0, I call it V0, and here we have the potential V1. So the voltage between V0 and V1 is called U. Hmm? Potential difference. Yeah? Since there's connections, we said there's connections, they are ideal, there is no potential difference. So what difference, what potential do we have here? We have here V1. Here we also have V1. And here we have V0. And here we also have V0 because the potentials of this whole connections are the same. So U1 and U2 are also the difference between V0 and V1. So from this we can, we can already say that U equals u1 equals u2. All voltages are of the same size, same direction, everything. There is the same voltage, it's the same potential difference. Of course, we could also use Kirchhoff's law. Yeah? Of course, we can also use this uh, and say, okay, we have a loop, second Kirchhoff's law. Yeah? We have a loop starting here, tuck, 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 tuck. loop number one, yeah? and let's see, start here, First one is U2, uh, second one is minus U1, is zero volts, this means U1 equals U2. And also, of course, U is the same. This is, if you like to watch it to it uh, from a more mathematical point of view, from a more, you know, there is a rule, I follow the rule and see, aha, okay, it's the same. Both things. Now let's also write down the the laws, uh, Ohm's law at the two resistance. Uh. So we have here uh, U1 equals R1 multiplied by I1. Ohm's law here and Ohm's law here, U2 equals R2 multiplied by I2. And now I will 
express i1 with this. So this follows i1 equals, and now since I know u and u1, u1 and u2 is all the same, I'll just write u divided by r. And also i2, I can express from this equation. This is u divided by r. And now let's have a look at this junction, at this node here. At this node we see what is going in, i equals what is going out, i1 plus i2. All right. Now I put those things in, yeah? so I can say i equals u divided by r. R1, of course, and R2. <laughs> they are also they are different, yeah. Uh, and then plus u divided by R2. Hmm. Now I will simply get out this u. So we say this is u multiplied by 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2. Hmm. And if we think about if you think about uh, Ohm's law and how, yeah, let's say we want to have, like we did it in the series connection, we want to have a, a circuit, a specific resistance R, yeah, which behaves exactly the way as the parallel circuit here. So we have here I, and we have here U, so from the connections of this resistance, this resistance and this combination, there is no difference in U and R. Yeah? So let's write down in this form I equals U multiplied by 1 divided by R. Yeah? And here, if you compare those two things, you realize yeah, 1 divided by R equals 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2. And if we would have more than two resistors, we can say plus 1 divided by R3 plus and so on. Mm -hmm. This is how you calculate uh, replacement resistance, which is not really there, but a replacement resistance for parallel circuit. This is actually what it does. Looks a little bit strange, right? Looks a little bit strange, but this is how it looks like. We talked about uh, we talked about the, the, the fact that there's not only resistance, there's also conductance. Uh, we called it G. Yeah, we, call, we said, okay, the conductance G Mm, the conductance G was 1 divided by R. Yeah? And G said, how good is something? Yeah? If we have a look at this, we could say G, the conductance, the whole conductance, equals G1 plus G2 plus G3 plus and so on. Yeah? This is how this rule looks like if we would use conductances and not resistances. And now it seems a little bit more logical, because if you don't have one road with a certain conductance uh, from one position to the other, but more roads, you simply add all, all conductances, add all, it's going better. Yeah. Every new path would take away the stress uh, and it's moving better. Huh? This is actually what is written there. Parallel circuit. Huh? Be aware of the fact that the resistance, the conductance is getting higher and higher, the more branches I have and the resistance is getting lower and lower. Huh? So it doesn't really matter if you have two resistors uh, and put them into parallel. 
they would end up in a lower resistance, even lower than the lowest resistance involved. In serious connections, different. Yeah? They're getting more and more resistance. But in parallel circuits, it's like that. Hmm? All right, so parallel circuits, serious circuits, rules, and so on. We know a lot of uh, power circuits right now. What we don't know is how to power supply this. Yeah? Bring the power to the circuit. Yeah? So, and next time, then we are talking about a voltage source. So how to bring voltage to our circuit world. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.